everybody, it's Sarah Griffith. On this episode of Nesting School, we are going to be talking about how to go about introducing a sibling to your new arrival. I will tell you that this is a new ball game for me. I'm actually a bit nervous about all of it. So what I'm going to share with you today are things that I've used leading up to my baby's arrival, but I don't know how it's going to go when she gets here because she's not here just yet. So my son is five years old. So that means that for the last five, actually five and a half years, he has been the star of the show, the king of the castle, and it's been all about him. So to add in a new baby is, while it's exciting, I'm very nervous about what that's gonna do for him. So I have worked really hard in these coming months to make our pregnancy a family thing. Um, you know, inviting him along to ultrasounds when I could, allowing him be the one to do our pregnancy announcement. Um, just, you know, on Christmas morning when we did our, our our gender reveal, he was the one who got to open the box. Like, this has been his journey as much as it's been our journey. And I will tell you that as we were going through our infertility stuff, the, the hardest part of all of it wasn't when the strangers would ask, when are we having another baby? It was actually whenever he would ask, when are we having another baby? That was the most difficult piece for us because he wanted to be a big brother oh so badly. So we're excited about this for him. Um, I will tell you that one of the things that we did was we worked to... Um, we worked to get a lot of books for him. I'm going to show them to you. So these are just some of them that he got. Um, our baby's due in May. So around Christmas time, we kind of did an influx of getting him some new books. And I don't have them all down here, but this one is really great. It's called You Were the First, and it talks about how basically you were the one who made us parents, and you're the one who taught us how to be parents. And for um, for that, you know, we will be forever grateful, and, and nobody can take that away. You know, it's it's it was a it's a cute little book. Um, another one, this book is actually the book that we read. I'm very into reading to my, my kids. And so actually the night, literally the night that he was born, um, I read this to him in the hospital and this was one of our favorite books. So I like to read it to him often. And, you know, we talked about, does he want this to be the book that we read to Gracie? And he does. So, um, having him feel included in, in making those decisions was really important. So this is on the night you were born. It has just some really cute little sweet quotes in it. Um, I don't have them down here, but we had a lot of little critter books in Franklin. Um, those are great for if your kids are like, I don't know, four-ish, five-ish. We are big Berenstain Bear fans here in our family. So we have Berenstain Bears and the New Baby and also Baby Makes Five. So these were great books. So, you know, talking about having a new baby, reading about it. Um, we also, what we did is when it came time to bringing his things up, you know, getting his things upstairs, whether it was the pack and play or the swing or whatever he was using. Um, we made a point to, you know, talk about each thing like, oh, this was your bathtub, you know, and you know what we have, come look at your baby book, look at pictures of you in this bathtub and making him feel like we weren't taking his things. We were using his things. Like it was a big deal that he was getting, you know, we were getting to get his baby bathtub out. And like, we just made it fun for him. Um, we have revisited his baby book a lot and pictures of him when he was little, um, just so that we could, you know, like you were this small too, like look, you know, and just making him feel really included in all of it. Um, so that was one thing that we did. I will say that when I got rid of things, so I did, I told you guys this in a prior video, I got rid of um, a lot of the boy stuff because he is five and a half years old. So for us, um, if we do have another one down the road, we're thinking we won't, but if we do, um, the, you know, the clothes will be old, the toys will be old. So we just, we are getting rid of a lot of our boy stuff, but I found that it wasn't a good idea to get rid of it in front of him. So my advice is if you're going to get rid of your one child's item, don't let them see you getting rid of it. Um, it, some kids are fine about it and they don't mind, but mine really took it to heart that we were getting rid of his toys. So it'll lesson learned. I learned that the hard way a couple times. So don't include them if you're yards, if you're going to have a yard sale send them to grandma's that day or whatever, but don't include them in that piece because that part is hard for them. At least it was for my son. Um, you know, you're going to want to get them little things to take, you know, like 
I, so you want to give them some little big brother shirt. Like we just grabbed this one the other day, but I'm going to get more. But you want to have big brother stuff, little sister stuff. You want to have um, a present waiting and ready. So if you're 35 weeks and beyond, it's definitely time. You want to have a gift waiting for them um, so that when the baby gets here, they can have a gift. The, you know, their baby brother or sister, here's your gift from them. Um, and you also want to have a gift that they picked out for them. And it's important that they pick it out. Um, my son is still shopping for Gracie's gift. He hasn't decided, which is really cute because he normally decides very easily, but he's still deciding what he wants to get Gracie. Um, but it's his gift. And as much as I want to be like, no, why don't we get this or this? It's it's his gift. And I have to respect that. Um, so anyways, he will be included in that piece. He will you know, he'll be one of the first ones who get to meet her at the hospital. Um, we haven't decided 100%, but I will probably allow him to be the one, you know, to come home when we bring her home, to come, you know, come to the hospital, meet me. I don't know who's watching him yet, whether it's my mom or my dad or whatever, um, but that they bring him and they let him help with, you know, getting her in the car for the first time, bringing her home, because um, this is, this has to be a family thing, you know, it has to be about everybody, and it's easy to, when you have a new baby, it's easy for that not to be the case, and you get wrapped up in the newborn, and, and you just want to make sure that it's, it's about them too. Um, I let him make a sign for her bedroom, you know, this is Gracie's room, I've let him help me decorate as much as I didn't want to, I let him help me fold some of the clothes, like there are things that I just wanted to do, but I knew that he had to be a part of it, so that this was his thing too. I will also, um, lastly, I will recommend that you check out your hospital and see what they have. My hospital had the sibling prep school. It was just a morning. It was like two and a half hours one morning where he got to go up to the hospital and they all got baby dolls. They learn how to give a bath. They learn how to swaddle and dress them. They talk about what mommies will do and what um, they won't do. You know, they talked about how you won't be the one changing the diaper and you shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't pick up the baby. They talked about the soft spot on their head. Um, they also gave them the chance, which I thought was incredible. They gave them a chance to go up to the labor and delivery floor and they show them exactly what the nursery looks like. Here's the room your mom will be in. Here is the room that you're going to have your baby delivered in. Like they just walked them through all of it because I think with children, the unknown is really scary. You know, for my son to know that I'm staying in the hospital for two, three days, like that's scary to a five-year-old. They, they think of hospital and that there's something wrong. Um, but for them to know that I'm safe there, this is what the room looks like, you know, there's no reason to, to worry, that helped put him at ease a lot. So if if you can find something like that, I would highly encourage you to do it, especially if this is, you're going from one to two. I think it's a bigger deal than when you go to two to three, they're used to it. But um, for the first, it's it's a big change. So anyways, I just wanted to share those tips with you. I hope you find them helpful. And if you have tips for me, please send them my way. Um, this is not, like I said, this is something that's new to me. So I'm just sharing what I've done so far. I'll be more helpful once, he, once she gets here and I can really relate my experience better. But for now, um, that's all I've got. So anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.